Johnny Depp has officially been added to the lineup for the remainder of Jeff Beck's UK tour, after he won his multi-million dollar lawsuit against his ex-wife Amber Heard. In what is the first step of the Hollywood actor, 58, being given my life back, Johnny will officially perform alongside his guitarist pal in Gateshead, Glasgow, Manchester, Birmingham, and York. Johnny celebrated his legal win at a Newcastle's Bridge Tavern pub with Jeff and singer Sam Fender, enjoying a meal of fish and chips before the jury read out their verdict at Fairfax County Court in Virginia. The Pirates of the Caribbean star was awarded compensatory damages of $10 million, £8 million, and a further $5 million. £4 million, pounds, in punitive damages, following a six-week-long blockbuster defamation case. Depp had jetted across to the UK as he awaited their verdict and surprised fans as he gave an impromptu performance at Sheffield City Hall on Sunday night, before taking to the stage at the Royal Albert Hall. And after proving a hit with the audience, Johnny has now officially been added to the lineup for the remainder of Jeff's UK tour. The actor sued Heard, 36, over a newspaper article titled, I spoke up against sexual violence, and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. The article did not mention Depp by name, but his lawyer said it falsely implied he physically and sexually abused the herd while they were together. In his statement after his win, issued through his spokesperson, Depp said, Six years ago, my life, the life of my children, the lives of those closest to me, and also, the lives of the people who for many, many years have supported and believed in me were forever changed. All in the blink of an eye. False, very serious and criminal allegations were levied at me via the media, which triggered an endless barrage of hateful content, although no charges were ever brought against me. It had already traveled around the world twice within a nanosecond and it had a seismic impact on my life and my career. And six years later, the jury gave me my life back. I am truly humbled. Heard appeared downcast as the ruling was read out. She was awarded $2 million after proving one of her counterclaims. Following the verdict, Amber said she felt heartbroken by the ruling, adding she was sadder still that she had lost a right to speak freely and openly. The disappointment I feel today is beyond words. I'm heartbroken that the mountain of evidence still was not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and sway of my ex-husband," she said in a statement. I'm even more disappointed with what this verdict means for other women. It is a setback. It sets back the clock to a time when a woman who spoke up and spoke out could be publicly shamed and humiliated. It sets back the idea that violence against women is to be taken seriously. I believe Johnny's attorneys succeeded in getting the jury to overlook the key issue of freedom of speech and ignore evidence that was so conclusive that we won in the UK. I'm sad I lost this case. But I am sadder still that I seem to have lost a right I thought I had as an American, to speak freely and openly, 